Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. This one is model number G731G, and the motherboard looks something like this. And what I'm concerned about is the sticker that we have on back of the board. What is that sticker doing here? It does not come on the board by default. And I see a yellow piece of tape that tells me the board was tampered with before. I hope we're not going to have a Hiroshima just like the last video I posted, Xbox Series X. Otherwise, we're going to deem it a no fix. And the customer also mailed this envelope, which tells me that this board was tampered with before. Look at this back. I do see one screw and I see a MOSFET. Where was this MOSFET removed from? That's the question. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's shining like a mirror. Right there. You know what? Before we go over the board, let me read what the customer wrote. I always enjoy the description from customers. Look at this. <laughs> Playing game and laptop shut down and dead. That's it. No mention about any prior repair attempt. No mention about this MOSFET that we have in the bag here. Who desoldered that MOSFET? Did it desolder itself? Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Let me make sure that we have a MOSFET here and nothing else. I do see a missing MOSFET on the board, so I'm assuming, yeah, it's a MOSFET. I mean, let me tell you one thing. The MOSFET that you see here will never, ever go bad. Never, ever. Unless there's a Hiroshima bomb and this laptop was affected, maybe that component will go bad. But otherwise, this component never, ever goes bad. It's not almost always, but never, ever. Why was this component removed? Maybe the customer was playing a game. And the villain in that game, he desoldered that MOSFET. Maybe that's what happened. What I love about this is that the customer included this one lonely screw. See it? Original, OEM. And we have a MOSFET here. We do not know who worked on this motherboard. I'm saying the customer, but we do not know if the customer worked on this board. But he did not mention anything about a repair shop and nothing about a repair attempt and nothing about a MOSFET. Let me measure for a short. The customer probably measured for a short at this MOSFET and he thought, let me remove the MOSFET. Maybe that's the problem. We're going to measure right here, meter in diode mode. You see, we have a short circuit. We have a short at the drain of this MOSFET. Before we do anything, let me just put that MOSFET back so we do not lose it. I already have it outside the bag. My wife gave birth yesterday to a baby boy. She's still in the hospital and I need to go get the kids from school. So I think I should go now and maybe continue when I'm back. All right, I'm back. And right now what we're going to do is resolder that MOSFET. Grab the NF.mini Northridge Fix mini soldering pen. If you do not already have one and you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, Log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, whatever you need. Soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal camera, and of that mini, and of that short, original Inventec, Amtec flux, braid wig, tweezers, whatever you need. Add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. I'm going to add a tiny blob of solder right here. A 
if you want to learn how to micro solder, we have a six day workshop where we teach everything from start to finish. Just log in to northridgefix.com, click on contact, fill out the form and choose training as the subject. Submit and Dolly will get back to you ASAP on when our next workshop will be and the price. I do not want to mention any prices on YouTube because that can change over time. But it's simple, just inquire and you'll get everything you need. Right now, I was too fast in putting that MOSFET back. I should have waited until the end. Because right now, if we want to inspect the board under a thermal camera, then the whole board is going to be hot because we applied hot air to solder that component. I should have checked where that short is coming from first and then soldered that MOSFET last. But that's okay. No problem. We're going to have to wait for the board to cool down a bit. Then what we're going to do is inject voltage at the drain of the MOSFET that we just put back. And we're going to inspect the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. That way we can figure out where the short is coming from. Right now we're going to use the Northridge Fix ESD brush and Chemtech wipes. Both of which you can purchase directly off our site if you have not already done so. And we're gonna have to wait for the board to cool down a bit. So I'm taking my time. Fume extractor off. And voltage injection tool on, and have that short. All right, so the board cooled down a bit. The mat is still hot. That's why you see this yellow heat spot here. But the board, you know what? Let me put the board over the heat spot so you do not get confused. And we're gonna inject voltage at the drain of the MOSFET where the short is. And I do not see heat spots anywhere on the board. The short may be coming from the back. The only thing getting hot is where I'm injecting voltage, but not that hot. And the short is almost always or never ever from this MOSFET. Let me inject voltage and I'm gonna flip the board just to see if we have a short from back of the board, which I think is the case. My thermal camera cable is going bad. I do not see anything hot, not from the front and not from the back. What's going on? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Right over here. Okay, I got it. I got it. The heat spot is coming from right over here. Two caps. Great. One of them is the bad guy. Which one? Place your bets. Which one? 
Top or bottom? Which one is the bad guy? Let's see if we can figure it out by zooming in. It has to be one of those two. And they both look perfect. All right, so let's do any mini mini mo. I do not even know how to sing it, but let's start with the bottom one. The bottom one is maybe more grayish than this one. Maybe. It doesn't matter. We start with the bottom one. If bottom one is not the problem, we put it back and we desolder the top one. Easy. Right? Now, if we had like 20 caps and not just two, then we can use an atomizer, spray rosin powder, and we can pinpoint where the shot is coming from, or we can zoom in with our thermal camera and try to figure out which one is causing the short. But since we only have two caps, it's not a big deal. Let's measure. Do we still have a short? I mean, we did not measure here to begin with, but since we had a heat spot in this area, we're going to assume that we have a short circuit here. What we can do to measure for a short is we can measure the cap itself from here to here. And I'm not reading a short on this cap, so the problem must be this guy right here. See? Process of elimination. One more time. We're going to measure. You know what? Let me zoom back out. We're going to measure here. We do not have a short. And we're going to measure here. And look at this. Look at this. The cap is shortened to itself. It's like a fuse. Caps should not act like a fuse. That's the bad guy right here. We got it. The cap can run, but he cannot hide. Let's send them to the ninth dimension one way. And we got the bad guy. And we're done. We're going to measure at the drain of the MOSFET that the customer removed. Make sure we do not have a short here. And we do not have a short anymore. I'm reading 0 0.4, 0 0.41. And I think this ASUS laptop is fixed. I'm going to hand the board over to Big Boss to reassemble and test. And I'll be back to finish the video. And who needs the sticker, right? Hanging by a thread. Let's check on Big Boss. Almost done with the reassembly. Do we have a charge and light? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, we do have right there. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Laptop is fixed. Beautiful. Boss of all bosses, did it again. Thank you, big boss. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.